Let's try a couple examples of converting between equivalent measurements. In order to be able to solve these measurements, these conversions, I have pulled up the PDF for measurement equivalencies, which I created for our class today. I have posted that on Google Classroom under measurement slides and videos. And I have attached the link to it in the description for this video. All right, so our first question is, how many inches are in four feet? And if we look over here, we already know everything we need to figure that out. We know that for every one of those four feet, there are 12 inches. So that's one foot, two feet, three feet, four feet. And every one of those, let's do it like this. Every one of those feet has 12 inches. So to figure out how many inches I have here, all I have to do is add that up. Oops. So let's go ahead and move that over so that I can create my addition problem. Two plus two is four, plus two is six, plus two is eight. And one plus one plus one is four. So my answer is 48 inches. My next question is how many inches are in one yard? Well, I look over here and it doesn't say how many feet are in a yard. So I can't quite do my conversion straight from inches to yards. But I do know how many inches are in a foot and I do know how many feet are in a yard. So let's start with looking at one, one yard and saying, oh, I know that that is one, two, three feet. And every one of those feet equals 12 inches. Now I can do just like I did before and add up how many inches I have. So that's two plus two plus two is six and one plus one plus one is three. So there's 36 inches in one yard. Now I need to figure out how many inches are in five yards. That's gonna be more steps but I can do it. So that's five yards. One, two, three, four, five yards. And each yard has three feet. So now let's see how many feet I have. Three plus three is six, plus three is nine, plus three is 12, plus three is 15. I have 15 feet. And so now if I have 15 feet, that's 15 groups of 12 inches. 15 groups of 12 inches. Now I want you to notice here that every time I've done this so far, it's been repeated addition. Repeated addition is the same thing as multiplication. So for example, right here, I have three, five times. Three, one, two, three, four, five times. So that's the same thing as three times five. Now, I really don't wanna take the time to draw out my 15 feet and how there's 12 inches in every one of those 15 feet. So I'm gonna think about it and say, I don't have to do all that repeated addition. I can just multiply. Instead of doing 
12 15 times, I'm just going to write in 12 times 15. Now, there are multiple ways you can do this, but the point here is really just that you know how to do the conversions, not that you can super quickly multiply 12 times 15. So I'm actually going to use a calculator. 12 times 15 is 180. All right, so that's 12 inches in 15 feet is 180 inches. Let's keep going. How many centimeters are in six meters? All right, that's different. I better look back over here to see centimeters to meters. Well, there's 100 centimeters in every one meter. So if every one of these six meters has 100 centimeters in it, that's 100 six times. 100 times six. And 100 times six is 600. So that means there's 600 centimeters in one meter. Let's keep going. How many quarts are in 10 gallons? So I'm going to need to come over here and see that there are four quarts in every gallon. There are four quarts in every gallon and I have 10 gallons. That's four 10 times. Four times 10. And I know that four times 10 is 40. But even if I didn't know that, I could always skip count. Hold up four fingers and add a 10 for every finger. 10, 20, 30, 40. And that's another way to do multiplication. My very last question is, how many milliliters are in three kiloliters? Now, just like my question about inches to yards, I can't find this out just from one step. But I know how many milliliters are in a liter, and I know how many liters are in a kiloliter, so certainly I can find out how many milliliters are in three kiloliters. So let's start off figuring out how many liters are in those three kiloliters. That way I can figure out how many millimeters are in those liters. All right, so I've got three kiloliters. And for every one kiloliter, I have 1,000 liters. So that's 1,000 three times. 1,000 times three. And I know that 1,000 times three is 3,000. Now that just tells me how many liters I have. So next I need to figure out in 3,000 liters, how many millimeters do I have? Well, I know that there's 1,000 milliliters in every liter. So that means that 3,000 liters, that's 1,000 3,000 times. 1,000 times 3,000. All right, so I'm actually gonna go ahead and put that in my calculator just to make sure. And my answer is three million. I hope that these examples helped you out. Remember that as long as you know how many, um, how every type of unit relates, you are able to figure out how many there are. If I know how many feet are in a yard, I can figure out how many feet are in 50 yards. And if I know how many feet are in a mile, I can figure out how many feet there are in 10 miles. And if I know how many feet are in a mile and how many inches are in a foot, I can figure out how many inches are in a mile. And I can figure out how many inches are in 10 miles. And that's true for every measurement equivalency here. I hope that this helped. Have a great day.